as we round off our conversation for today, it is the start of a new year, and why not pick up a brand new hobby? So uh, we are joined this morning by Jalen Craig from the Modern Dance Movement, and she's going to be telling us all about her online dance classes that she's been having for, for children. So good morning, Jalen. Hi, good morning. And thank you for joining us. Thank you, too, for this opportunity. So, Jalen, let's, let's start off by talking a bit about uh, modern dance movement. We know you are a trained dancer, um, and you created your own dance school, what was it, a year, two years ago? Yeah, uh, last September 2019 makes um, is when I actually started, so it's been a year uh -huh. and some months. <laughs> yeah. And your, your, the type of dance that you're teaching, tell us about that. Well, I am teaching Martha Graham's modern technique. Mm -hmm. And so that is what I trained for in at the Martha Graham school for three years. Mm -hmm. And in addition to the that modern technique, I was learning ballet as well. So when I graduated and came back to Belize last summer in 2019, well, two years ago now, so yeah. <laughs> we're in 2021. So yeah, I came back in 2019 and started in September 2019 teaching ballet and Graham Modern Technique. And then 2020 happened, and so everything changed. I know there's been a lot of challenges for um, people from the art sector to kind of figure out their own way of surviving in this virtual world. Tell us about your experience. Yeah, we were learning in the studio choreography in up to March of 2020 last year. And then the pandemic, you know, kind of took us all off guard. So as the country went in lockdown in March, we had to close studio classes. Um, I never really stopped communicating with my students, though. Mm -hmm. I would give them videos of me through WhatsApp, through, through the parents and my adults, because I had adults as well yeah. in my classes. So we kept in contact. And then I was in contact with a former teacher of mine in New York. And she was telling me that they are doing a whole dance class online. And I was like, wow, that's really, I never thought about that. How can you have a whole dance class online and that's when she introduced me to Zoom. So uh, after our Easter break in April, the last two weeks of April, I decided to just test it out with my teens and adults and my preteens. And mm -hmm. so we did, uh, we first tried Google Hangouts and realized it's not dancer friendly at all. <laughs> you can't really see my full body because okay. you have the little um, the girls, you see them at the bottom as well. So yeah. that is when I switched over to Zoom. And from there, that was like, we learned as we went along. Yeah. <laughs> because my first time trying out Zoom. So, you know, the, the, you will show people how to do the dance moves. What, what's the, um, how has it been trying to get them to learn the proper technique? Especially since you don't have that, direct one-to-one -one contact yeah um switching to dancing at home brought a lot of challenges and that structuring the technique class online was a huge challenge first off we were only a we are only able to um receive corrections from me verbally yeah and through demonstrating so most of the classes if not all started off with me doing the whole class from start to finish yeah. with them and so it was the, the dancer's responsibility to look keep, keep focused throughout the entire class listen to my corrections through um our online classes and um just follow along while i was dancing with them so it's a lot going on <laughs> at the same time for them real multitasking and listening to the music <laughs> So that was the next thing, Wi-Fi connections. We all have Wi-Fi dropping and lagging. Yeah. So while I'm playing the music, it's it, there is some lagging. So 
the students have to be really attentive and just catch up. Yeah. But despite all the challenges, you managed to uh, keep things going. In fact, I think the images we're showing is from your Christmas production. Yes, despite all those, I would say, obstacles, there came yeah. rewards. I've seen um, almost well, each of my students has um, grown in some way, whether it be technique or performance or confidence mm -hmm. while dancing. So definitely some rewards, even though we are learning yeah. online. And so, yeah, we were able to do our first performance because that's what we were aiming to do last year in 2020, our first recital. And since the pandemic hit, um, I tried to find a way to at least end the year with some type of performance, even if it was virtual. And so um, thankfully I had uh, the team from Avant Garde who helped me make that production come to life for Christmas. Yeah, look at that. And the, I'm sure the children were so happy to get on stage. You scheduled yes. them to shoot separately. Is that what happened? Yeah, yeah. We definitely had to um, set the beginners and preteens. We had them each go on stage um, by themselves so that they can take off their masks. And so um, only a few number of people were allowed in the theater. Yeah. Those who were in the theater had on their masks while each student went on stage and um, did the choreography. And with my teens and adults, I took that concept from that you can still dance together, however, socially distanced, no contact touching and wearing your mask at the same time. That's most um, companies and dancers are doing right now. Um, globally so so we've been seeing the children but tell us about your adult classes what are you teaching the adults yeah I, I teach from ages three to adults and with my adults right now I have them combined with my teens since we're still uh, a new studio upcoming studio um, everyone is kind of on the same level with technique so my teens and adults are on Saturday mornings mm -hmm. I teach them ballet, it's back to back, so mm -hmm. it's, it's very rigorous <laughs> and they love it though. <laughs> they really love the back to back because it has you getting in that workout and um, stamina that's needed for dance, um, any kind of dance really. So I teach ballet followed by Graham Modern mm -hmm. Technique and we end off like around 12.30. Oh wow, a whole morning of dancing. Yep, it's a full morning of dance. <laughs> And that must be, I mean, I, especially I think for us as adults, trying to find an outlet, um, something to do, whether it's being creative or being active, um, that this is an opportunity that they can take advantage of. Yes, definitely. Uh, I've actually seen my students personally use, we have a little section called Choreo Lab where they just freestyle and whatever they're feeling or whatever they want to do with their movements they they're able to express that and i've seen a lot of growth in all of my from beginners to adults i see um original unique movements come about because based on how they are feeling at that moment so it's definitely a creative outlet um during these times well i gotta tell you from the smile from those kids we just saw definitely you have some sa satisfied uh students <laughs> <laughs> yes, and with the preteens, I was able to collaborate with uh, two other uh, dance studios. And so, my preteens, I realized they were, you can see the roller coaster of emotions. First off, in March, I mean, April, starting online, they were so happy because I mean, they're thinking, yay, no school, I don't have to wake up early. But then, as you see during the summer, you can see that they got really unmotivated, um, kind of tired with being stuck at home but then another excitement because we were able to perform for the uh, Festival of Arts that went virtual this year and um, our Christmas performance in addition to our collaboration with Anqua School of Dance and Dancer Studio, both located in Belmopan. So it was really nice to see the preteens. They were able to be motivated and show up and I mean, Look love at that, dance yeah. again. 
Yeah, this yeah. is the preteen. This, this is the preteens here, right? Yes. Oh, yeah. Nice. So we had 31 students total from all three studios, and <laughs> I mean the three dance instructors. We were um, learning Zoom as we go. We had no idea Zoom had breakout rooms. So while we were learning that. We were able to separate the girls and teach them in the, um, in smaller groups the choreography for this um, Christmas dance. That so. is so cool. Now, you are actually taking in a new intake of students at this time. Tell us about that and what's the interest, um, what's the interest been like so far? Yes, so today we start our new semester for the year mm -hmm. and we have our registration open throughout the semester. I understand that parents are still trying to make this the new norm of staying home, going home from work and then going straight to helping out the kids with um, learning everything basically. So um, I have the registration still open and I have the Google form link on my Instagram profile at Modern Dance BZ is our username. So um, whoever is Is there a limited space? Is it? Uh, no. yeah. uh, we welcome. That's also the plus side of this, that since we are online, we can take as many students as possible. And actually, since dancing online, I was able to accept students from out district because since we're in Belize City, not many people from out district were able to come in for in-studio classes. But now that we're online, I am accepting anyone out district who would want to give dance a try with okay. us at Modern Dance Movement. And what's, what's the cost for the classes for, to, to sign up as a student? So we have a class weekly for beginners, and that would be 40 a month. Okay. And so preteens and teens and adults get, they are offered ballet and gram. So there are two classes a week for preteens up to adults. And so that would be 80 a month. Okay. And uh, the classes for the preteens and the adults, that's on Saturdays when it's a more convenient time for adults. I know a lot of people right now at home, Jalen, are asking adults learning ballet. Yeah, actually, I've had so many adults approach me before I went to study in New York and they're like, I would love to take a ba ballet bar class. When I was little, I used to dance and I missed it, but I don't want to go on stage. Um, so I'm like, yeah, you, I mean, if you're a dance enthusiast, I totally welcome that. You don't, yeah. I'm not forcing you to perform or, you know, I know people get stage fright, even though technically we're not on stage yeah. as yet, but you're more than welcome to attend the adult classes on Saturday mornings to just see how it feels. I know I had a lot of people kind of second guess about dance online. Wait, there's no way. But also people took advantage of it because you're in your space, your personal space. No one, you don't feel like everyone's watching you. There are no yeah. eyes on you. Literally, it's just you in your room. So that's true. That's true. They, they can't be scrutinizing your every move because they're focused on themselves at that moment. Definitely. So it's, it's your personal space. You get to let go and de-stress through dance. All right. So you're going to be working with a new group of students. Um, I imagine gearing up for another production. Yeah. So this semester I am planning to do uh, another performance. Mm -hmm. Not sure if we will hopefully be able to do it uh, on stage in person. You never know. But I mean, for the time being, it's most likely going to be virtual again. That's the times right now. So still looking forward to it, though. And now now that my students um, realize their capability, they did a whole performance learning all the choreography online and through separate um, videos that I sent on WhatsApp. So I would um, record me doing the choreography after teaching them and then send it to them. So it was their responsibility to go through it at night, in the morning, whenever they had time. Yeah. And so, yeah, we met the first week in December in um, Spaced Out and we just recorded it. And I was just so proud of them because they learned everything online 
and through those videos. So definitely they came out strong from that performance and I'm sure they're really looking forward to another opportunity to perform. You know, I just got to tell you, these, these are some very happy people that are dancing. So clearly getting this opportunity for an outlet is something that they enjoy. Um, what's been the response from parents? My parents, I really could not have had that successful semester online without them because I am constantly on WhatsApp with them, sending them videos and then they send me back videos of the, the dancers, you know, um, mm -hmm. once they send it to me, I am able to give them more feedback um, in addition to the feedback online during classes. So, I mean, parents are <laughs> real rock stars in helping <laughs> the kids, especially during this time where they're limited to where they can go. So yeah. this is definitely an outlet that they can express themselves and with the parents helping and encouraging, it's it all ties in together. I mean, just look at these videos. It's it's anywhere it can be a dance studio from the backyard to the living room uh, to I think I saw a, a gazebo looking area. They just have to yeah. do the movements and that's it. They're on stage. Yeah, they make their backyard or their living room their stage. And with Christmas, we were able to, you know, dress it up a bit. If you had your living room, at least you had your tree. Yeah. You can put on your, um, we color coded the dances as you can see. So the Dance Connect uh, collaboration with the two other studios, we had them dress in red or white. So um, the parents again were very helpful with that, you know, looking into the kids' closets and seeing what all they can do, sending pictures, if this can work. And yeah, it's, it's definitely a team effort in getting that performance all together. All right. So how do people get in touch? You, you were telling me before we went on air that you're doing kind of a, a rolling um, registration. Yes. So registration remains open throughout the semester. And you can contact me on social media at Modern Dance BZ mm -hmm. is the username for our Instagram profile. It's the same for Facebook or you can just search on Facebook Modern Dance Movement. And from there, you can just shoot me an email or you can shoot me an email now, moderndancebc <laughs> at gmail.com. And I'm more than welcome to, I mean, I'm definitely excited for this new semester. And if you would like to join us, you are totally welcome with open arms. And I love that because people who uh, are not in Belize City can definitely take advantage of getting their children enrolled or even the parents themselves can enroll yeah. in adult dance classes. Jalen, thank you so much for telling us about what you've been up to. Thank you, too. Thank you for the opportunity. All right. We look forward to hearing about that production when it happens. Definitely. All right. Stay safe. And with that, we are going to go ahead and take our final break. When we come back, we'll have the wrap-ups.